What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, this video is a little bit different. It's not about video games, but it is video game related. And I wanted to make this video specifically for the people that are having the exact same issue that I have. Um, and I couldn't find a lot of information out there for this exact scenario in this specific issue. Um, and there aren't many solutions out there. And my solution was one of the very small percentage of solutions out there for this exact same issue. So let's get right into it. So essentially my PC build um, is a 5950X with the 3090 Founders Edition, uh, 64 gigs of RAM, uh, 970, 980 Pro NVMEs uh, with a few hard drives and uh, 2.5 SSDs, 1000 watt power supply from EVGA, gold standard, fully mod modular. Uh, the motherboard is an MSI X570 Meg Unify. I got a bunch of Lee and Lee fans in there. The Lee and Lee case. Um, Cooling is not an issue. I have a three fan AIO from Corsair. I think it's the H1500i, something like that. I don't remember the top, the exact number on top of my head, but it's a, it's the the three fan one. So it is a beefy PC, and the the, the symptoms that I've been having for the last six plus months, um, the PC would randomly shut off black screen, sometimes blue screen, and just do a complete reboot back into the lock screen for Windows. Uh, it was you know, kind of inconsistent, but there were some consistent um, uh, behaviors and, and, and ways I can force it to start doing it again. Um, sometimes it would happen just watching YouTube, doing a few tasks here and there, like emails, like something very basic to video editing, to even AAA gaming, AA gaming, s simple games, or even uh, VR. So the more consistent ones were ones where there was heavy loads in gaming. I know where your mind is going, but it's not that simple. So just bear with me. So this is a span, it's a span of six, seven months of back and forth and different solutions that I've tried to get this to work. So initially what I did, you start doing with the basics. Um, if you haven't heard, I used the DDU uh, NVIDIA or DDU driver, driver removal software. Um, watch the Jay's Two Cents video. I'll probably put in the description down below if you want to watch or even heard about it it's something that's really good to do just as much as like doing a cl clean windows install here and there um i definitely recommend doing that every once in a while but i did this what it essentially does it removes all the removes all the drivers for graphics for uh even cpu but mainly a lot of people use it for the graphics stuff uh, for mainly for nvidia so sometimes when you start doing uh, a lot of driver updates all these during these updates and installations sometimes there's an error jay's jay goes into it a lot more in depth so i would go based off what he's saying but essentially with all these updates sometimes there can be some corruption installation in the drivers there could be some mix-up so you get a lot of errors so i did that several times i wiped the most recent nvidia driver at that time didn't work, wiped it again, installed the, I rolled back one driver. So the driver before the latest one, same thing. I went to two, three, and four, same exact issue. Um, I un uninstalled the games, uninstalled Steam, reinstalled them, No, same issue. I even had it with other games too, like Rocket League Epic, on Epic, everything. So it wasn't just like a, a Steam issue or specific game. Um, I reseeded the GPU, um, plugged, it, plugged it in, plugged it back out with the, the power cables. Um, I even uh, wiped windows, same exact issue, came back um, after a couple days, changed the NVMe drive, changed the C drive to a different NVMe drive, same exact issue. The blue screens that I were, that were getting were related to uh, dry, uh, uh, NVMe drives and hard drives related errors. So I was like, okay, maybe my NVMe drive is failing or something. I ran NVMe, uh, I ran drive hell, uh, health drive health uh, software tests no issues i even swapped it bought a new one same exact issue i tried the different spots um on the motherboard same exact issue i uh, wiped them all completely clean reformatted them wiped everything same exact issue i even swapped out ram sticks uh bought new ones same exact issue i even went single stick same exact issue checked the bios settings same nothing like i've done all the basic stuff everyone could think of same exact issue. So eventually um, what ended up happening was I decided to RMA my motherboard. Like I said, the MSI Meg Unify X570. I RMA'd it, but I bought a newer one. I bought a newer one um, and 
it was the same exact model, but it was called the Ace Max. So X570 Meg Unify Ace Max. It had a few more NVMe drives, more USB ports, just, just a tad bit higher than what I have. Mind you, all my friends and I have the exact same build. Some of us have the 5900, most of them have the 5900X, I have the 5950X. Same motherboard, power supply, graphics card, everything. And I'm the only one having this exact same issue. Only when heavy gaming, Call of Duty, VR, you name it. Just shut off, restart, stable and unstable games. So I changed the motherboard, swap it out, boom, done. No issue. Oh, thank God. I'm good. It was just motherboard went bad after two years. Mind you, this computer is built. I built it in November, uh, uh, December, January, December 2020 and January 2021. It fluctuated between there because I had to wait some for some parts. The 5950X was so hard to get at the time. Um, so I did that. RMA made it. I was like, okay, I'll keep the RMA as a backup. I'll use the new motherboard. I'll keep it. Four months later, back in like February 20, uh, 23, February, 2023, from September, 2022 to February, 2023 issue went away. It came back, but it was very specific. Now it was not just random stuff that I was doing. It was only gaming. Um, it would probably like, for instance, I'm playing call of duty. I'll die. When I try to respawn, it just shuts off. Um, so what I did was I bought a motherboard again, the exact same one. I swapped it out. I had warranty on it. Boom, done, went away from February to March. Boom, it came back. Uh, so I was like, there's no way that could be the motherboard. There's no way that it, it's a motherboard issue because this motherboard is still one month old. I've went through another one and I had them. So there's no way that it was a motherboard issue. Now what I was getting this is what's very specific. I was getting the WHEA uncorrectable error blue screen. So sometimes that I was able to get to see the blue screen, uh, just to see it flash every single time, even in the past, back in September, the blue screen would, would just flash and just shut off. Like you wouldn't even get to see it. So I had to take my phone and record my monitor as it's happening and screenshot it and zoom in just to get the error code. Back then the error codes were inconsistent. They were kind of drive related. Sometimes I wouldn't get the blue screen. This time, 90% of the time I was getting that WHE uncorrectable error code, which is hardware instability errors. So it could be some something in so one of the hardware, something in the PC hardware related was failing. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, this is, this is not, this is, it's not the motherboard and this is not good. So at the same time this was happening, um, the 980 Pro at that time, the Samsung 980 Pro had an issue where it started coming out. Some of them were failing and some NVMEs were bricking and it was related to the firmware. And it was specific ones between a certain date range estimated from certain manufacturers. Everyone said, just go update that firmware to avoid any other issues. So I downloaded the Samsung Magician software. There was an update for my firmware. I updated all of them. I had the exact same firmware. Everyone was saying that had an issue. I did it. Went away for the day, came back the next day. I was like, okay, well, it can't be my 980 Pro. And also my 980 Pro isn't my C drive anymore. If you remember, I swapped, I switched it back in September. Uh, I made my 970 one. 970, I checked its drive health again, no issue. I wiped Windows again, same exact issue. So I was okay, well, with a clean install again and did DDU driver removal again back in February and March, did the exact same stuff I did before, same exact issue. I was like, okay, well, to narrow it down, this now started happening during the Diablo beta. So now it happened um, again after the 980 Pro firmware fix. It was during one of the live world events with that dragon in the first weekend um, when there was a lot going on and I was about to get hit from that dragon and it happened. Complete reset, blue screen, WHA uncorrectable error, restart, boom. I was like, okay, well, it could be that the GPU is trying to draw some power from the power supply and the power supply is failing and it can't draw it enough power and it's just shutting off. I was like, let's go get a new power supply. I got an EVGA 1300 watt gold standard, fully modular from Best Buy. I was in my old, my older, older thousand watt power supply was two years old at this point. So it's not really old. It's, it was brand new at the time. Same exact issue. Now, now it's only, I can only recreate it hundred percent of the time with steam VR. I will launch steam VR. I get into Steam VR Home and it would happen again. And it, certain situations in, in other video games, there was heavy rendering, not just simple, it, was, it had to be heavy rendering. 
I was like, damn, it could be my GPU. I was like, I, I have a 3090 Founders Edition. It could have just died. Great. <laughs> um, and a lot of the people say that WHEA uncorrectable error is CPU related most of the time. I was like, man, like, did I probably bend one of the pins during one of the several swaps that I've done in motherboards and now it's catching up? I was like, that would suck, but I'm, I, I'm pretty careful. Um, so I ordered a 5950X and a 4090 in the meantime. It was going to take about a week for both of them to show up. There was back order, especially on the 4090. So I was like, in the meantime, I'll try to figure it out. I have an extra graphics card laying around as a 1080 Ti. I popped in the 1080 Ti, not one issue at all. I gamed for hours, played different games, different VR games, restart. I was shocked. I was like, man, my graphics card's really dead. I was like, this is this is crazy. So uh, I was like, maybe it is a graphics card. Maybe it's not. It is a, lo a lower tier graphics card. It's not as beefy. Well, so let me do some more research. So a lot of people said too to check your BIOS settings. Sometimes overclock uh, settings are enabled um, by accident. Uh, so I checked all my BIOS settings, no issue. A lot of people said it could be uh, something with your motherboard with one of, uh, by the way, I also updated my BIOS uh, several times to the latest and same exact issue. CPU chipset, same exact issue. So a lot of people say, just roll back your, your PCIe port from gen four to gen three. No, no dice. 3090 was still was still crashing. So my friend was in the meantime, before you fully commit to the 4090, by the time it comes, you can cancel it. Try my 3090 here, put in your PC. If you have the exact same issue, then you know it's your GPU. So the 3090 FE, I bought, I borrowed his. Within the first, first time I launched Steam VR, same exact issue. So it was not, it was not a GPU related issue, but it was confused how the 1080 Ti was able to not have any issues for a day or two. I was like, okay, that's weird. So one of the days I was, I stayed up to like 1 a.m. I spent six hours on it all like all night, like consistently trying different things again. And it hit me. It's always related to heavy power, heavy GPU related processing. And it's trying to draw a lot of power. If I bought a new power supply and it's not the GPU, what could be the issue? The motherboard, there's, there's nothing, there's, I've tried every other solution. So it ended up, I, it hit me. I don't know how this came to mind, but I'm glad it did. Uh, I have third party power cables, the, the sleeved ones. Um, and they're right here. These power sleeve, these, these power cables that are sleeved. I looked up on Google, only one other person out of all the forums and all the YouTube comments and all the videos said, I had this exact same scenario. He had a 5950X and a 3090 and he had third party power cables uh, from the PSU to the GPU and he swapped it to the, the ones that come in the, the, the PSU, the power supply and his issue went away. I was like, no freaking way that this was the problem. Next morning, I went and did it. Boom, no issue at all. So I know a lot of you probably thought it was like a motherboard, graphics card crapped out during this whole scenario. But what, let me explain why the 1080 Ti wasn't the problem using the exact same power cables. Mind you, the exact same power cables. Um, and I've had these cables for about five years now, about five years and no issues. So you gotta think too that the 3090 draws and requires a lot more power than a 1080 Ti. So I'm pretty sure there's no physical, like physical indication of these are going bad. Like I even checked the pins. Uh, Sorry, I even checked out there with any burn, uh, burn marks or anything, any some, something bent, something ripped, nothing. So the 1080 Ti doesn't need to draw as much power. So I'm pretty sure something went bad in one of these. And as one of the cables, it's pulling and it just, it's not drawing enough power and the whole PC just shuts off. So <laughs> I saved myself probably buying a 4090, a new CPU, I did, you know, spend a lot of time, sleepless nights, heartache, frustration, missing on gaming night, game nights with the boys online on the weekends. But I wanted to make this video because I'm pretty sure someone out there is or will have this issue where they're using third party uh, power, pa uh, power supply cables to their motherboard, to their GPU or whatever it is. Just be very careful. And if you do, and this issue comes up, always, you know, check your power cables before you start buying parts. You can save yourself a lot of time, but that's about it guys. I just wanted to make this quick video. 
help you guys out. Hope this helped. If you had this exact same issue, um, and please comment below what you did to solve this problem because your solution might not be very common online. There are, like I said, there's only a handful of videos that talk about this exact error code, the WHEA uncharacterable error with these behaviors. Um, you know, just post your, your PC specs and talk about what you were experiencing and what your solution was for, you know, people in the future who or are going through it that, you know, can use your information to help troubleshoot their issues. So thank you again, guys, for watching. Take care. Peace out. Enjoy the games.